Children sing and dance before story time at a Southern California library. A weekly ritual for Iranian American families wanting to share their culture with their kids. There was a need. They were hungry to have access to the Persian books, to Persian material. Now it's story time. It's been 40 years since an uprising in Iran drove the U.S.-backed Shah from power. The revolution, which led to Islamic rule, drove tens of thousands of Iranians to seek refuge in the United States. Some of these parents have had terrible experience and they've made a new beginning and the Iranian American community has done very well here. So there's a sense that they're thankful to have been here, but of course there's a sense of nostalgia but also grief. The children don't carry this baggage with them. Many Iranian Americans are finding ways to connect with their roots, despite the hostile relationship between the U.S. and Iran. The radical regime in Iran. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, about 470,000 people in the United States have Iranian ancestry, and more than 40 percent of them live in California. For us coming from another uh, country, sense of belonging to the group is very important. Minu Sharifan started the weekly Persian story time at the Irvine Public Library in 2014. For younger kids to see kids their age uh, coming to the library and speak Farsi, it's a good feeling for them and it makes me happy. <laughs> it's had an impact on the parents as well. Ever since we started the story time, I noticed like a lot of the families that come here they don't know anybody. And I feel uh, we created um, a place um, that they have expanded their families and friends. Stories from the past, helping to shape a new generation. Krista Fourier, Associated Press, Irvine, California.